What's going on guys? It's Trevin here. Welcome back to Tea Time with Trev. Got a special video for you guys today. So today we're going to be working on improving speed and accuracy with the driver. So first half of the vi video I want to work on um, just kind of my, my game-like swings, my course-like swings. And then second half I'm going to kind of chase some speed and see what kind of numbers I can get. Um, but at this point I'm all warmed up. T took some iron swings before this. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so we got the driver in hand here. We got the Cobra Rad Speed driver. I think it's like a 2022 20, model, maybe, tw maybe 2021. But it's a good driver. It's pretty hot. Feels good when you hit it. Uh, so really the goal with this first half of the video is to really minimize the spin rate. Uh, sometimes when I get a little loose with my swings and I'm losing balls right or left, usually right, um it's because i'm hitting it bad on the face and then i'm really creating a lot of spin so that ball is kind of going up in the air too quickly with the driver spinning right and i'm losing a lot of distance um uh, so really with the the spin rate i want to be below 3000 consistently uh, i think that'd be a good goal but ideally i'd like to be low 2000s um if you guys are familiar with spin rate with driver if you're not uh really you want to be below 2500 all right, so when I'm setting up an impact today too, I want to work on not tilting so much with the shoulders. I want to get a little bit of a tilt uh, just because I'm set up for a driver swing here, uh, but not over exaggerated to where it's kind of putting me in a bad position. So uh, we're going to work on that today as well. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty bad hit. Um, got lucky that I hit it straight. Uh, but that was directly off the toe of the club. I guess I guess it turned out all right though. Um, still somehow hit that 290. <laughs> yeah, but you guys can see there. So that spin right there, which you'll see uh, in the top right corner of this video, it was 1600. So if that spun, you know, say 3000, I'm getting 30 less yards on that at least. But so you know, first swing with the driver, we'll take it. Um, yeah, let's get better from that. Let's hit it a little more square this time. Another thing I want to work on in this video today too is a longer transition. Um, kind of so from up at the top, I want to feel like my hips are kind of going first uh, without my hands coming with it. That way I can just create a little more separation and speed. Um, you know, because ideally you watch guys, you know, long drivers like Kyle Berkshire, uh, even like Rory, he's pretty long off the tee, but they're really getting a lot of separation with their hips and their arms and their upper half. Um, so that's the idea. <clears throat> Lot better hit there. Um, maybe not. So yeah, that's kind of been the miss actually recently. I went from hitting it right all the time to hitting it left and kind of duck hooking it where it's like a snap kind of this way, uh, right to left shot. Um, so, you know, I swung it well, had a pretty good ball speed there, but just kind of flipped it. I'm flipping my arms kind of at impact there that way. Um, so try to improve from that here. So you guys can see there too, that's 68 yards left. Um, that's just not, that's not great on the course. Uh, if you have any kind of water left or um, hazard out of bounds, like that's, automatically you're hitting three strokes from the tee or wherever you drop from so um that's the that's the type of misses we want to avoid so i'm going to try to calm it down a little bit here maybe swing a little with a little less intensity and just control this shot so, yeah so that was a little better there i actually just hit it way off the top of the face um so i swung it a little slower which is nice but just didn't hit it square you guys will see from that smash factor on the top right part of that screen record of the laptop there and the top right corner of this video um you want that to be like one four five or above that's just kind of showing you got a center hit on the face and that was one three seven so just a bad hit uh but you know i mean we're 38 yards left it's a little outside of our goal for today but that's ultimately a miss you could probably live with on the course i felt pretty solid there i actually just kind of pushed it right some but it didn't have a lot of curve to it right or left. So that was a pretty good swing there. I'd take that for sure. Um, 
295 or 34, 34 yards right. That's, you know, a little, it's probably borderline whether that's in play. I mean, you'd think that maybe be right rough, uh, maybe in the trees a little bit, but like I'd be able to play with that shot on the course. So I'm happy with that. All right, let's really try to find the center of the face with this hit. Uh, let's get that smash factor up there. Let's get some good ball speed. Let's get in the 160s. Oh, yeah. That was well hit. Uh, that, so that was actually one of those where it was more spin. So you guys can kind of see on the Skytrack video there, it kind of took off initially and then just spun right, right away. Uh, so you'll see that spin. So 3,700 spin. So I, I actually hit that ball harder according to the ball speed there, which that felt right with where I hit on the face. Um, but kind of my my sequence of where the club was, it was more of a downward blow, hence why I got some more spin on it like I did. So um, just something to look out for, you know, I mean, 42 yards right. Again, not ideal, but something with where my game's at, I could probably live with that. Uh, but still a lot more in the tank. So let's take about two or three more sound swings try to get it more in play and then we'll move on to some speed work yeah just a little spinny again so you guys can kind of see that tracer kind of just took off straight and then spun right away right um so yeah 3100 on the spin you know that's that's just a little high so Yeah, just a little spinny again. Um, yeah, so that one, that, the spin jumped up quite a bit. So 3,800, that's pretty bad. Now I'm 45 yards right. All right, let's take a nice smooth swing here. Let's keep it within 30 yards, whether it's right or left. Uh, let's try to get that spin below 3,000. A little smoother transition, I feel a little quick up here from the top, so just smooth it out, and then we go. Yeah, that was better. Still had some of that spin right, but that was more of a, just a fade right. So yeah, that's that's a good ball. I'll really, I'll take that any day of the week. So 32 yards right. Uh, but you guys can see how that spin is now in the green range. That's more of the optimal range according to Skytrack. All right, so now we're going to transition to more like speed-related work. I want to swing a little harder uh, and kind of chase some some numbers as far as swing speed and ball speed go. Uh, so far, my best is 115 on the swing speed. Uh, so the, the goal is to top that, maybe get 116, 117 today, and then get uh, 170 ball speed. So... Let's get after it. All right, so now that I'm a little less worried about where the ball goes and I'm just trying to swing fast, uh, I'm gonna really try to emphasize getting a longer backswing and then um, just chilling out at the top and not trying to get too quick and hitting the ball from here. I wanna feel like I'm hitting the ball from here to here, you know, rather than from the top. So that's the idea. And get a little more kind of flowy with my feet and just kind of try to feel my weight shifting a little better. Yeah, I swung pretty hard. That's that duck hook I've been hitting recently. Um, I'm just kind of flipping it over. So I, that's that's not bad, though, for what it was. And we swung 115, so that we actually tied the PR there. That was good. Um, but, yeah, I just hit that kind of dead off the toe. Usually when you hit it off the toe like that, you're going to get uh, kind of a right-to-left shot shape for righties. You know, obviously with that swing, it's a little more of an extreme right to left, so it's not so much a draw anymore. It's a hook, obviously. I realize that. All right, let's try to find the center of the face here, see if we can get some big distance and uh, a nice, fast swing speed. Yeah, that was a good ball. I actually didn't hook that one at all. Uh, it's better, so we'll take that. Yeah, so 114 there. You see how that spin kind of jumped up? So that's 1,000 more RPM. Um, so that's kind of why the distance wasn't as great. But ball speed, 162. We can get that up to 165 for sure. Um, but I like that. It's a good start. So let's keep building off that. Yeah, just a little left where I turned it over a little too much. But pretty well hit. 
304 there, that's better. Uh, yeah, we got 166, so definitely hit it harder. Swung a little softer on the swing speed with 113, but look at that smash factor and that spin. That's why that ball went 304. So, um, hey, it's only 60 yards left. I mean, it's probably OB, but hey, doesn't count on the simulator. All right, let's swing fast. Let her eat. Yeah, just flipped it again. Swung fast. I just got to try to figure out how I can swing fast. I was 115, so that's good. Um, and not get so much of this arm rolling over. So it's all right, though. We're going to crack 115 there. I yeah, feel it. In case you guys were wondering, that's uh, 102 yards left on the sky track. Yeah. Yeah, that one I just hit low on the face. So that was the opposite direction. But man, we're close. That felt I felt a little faster. We'll have to see. Yeah, 116. Let's go. Nice. That was good. Um, that one I kind of was just stuck behind it. I think I was more here with it. And then I kind of hit that weak, kind of wipey looking fade where it's left and right and just not going too far. Um but 160 on the ball speed, that's tying a PR. 116, that's the best I've swung. So let's do it again. So that one there, to, to kind of crack that plateau I've been at, um, I felt like my hips kind of went first, and I created that separation kind of like I was talking about at the start of this video. So let's try to feel that again, uh, but just a little longer transition to kind of get that club timed up in a little better spot. <clears throat> I'm going to swing nice and smooth because smooth is fast. Fast is smooth. Oh, man. I crushed that ball. I'll have to see where it goes. Yeah, that's going to be nice. That might be the furthest ball I've hit on this thing. We'll have to see how it ends up. Uh, 306. Yeah, 116, 168, though. Uh, it's funny because I felt like I swung a little bit slower, but it, everything was just synced up a little better. Um, if that spin would have been lower, 2,500, that's 320. So... That's a great ball. Uh, 116 tied the PR for today. Let's get 117. It's in the tank. Yeah, that's no good there. That's that quacker duck hook. 115. Hey, 169 though. <laughs> that's good. Um, but yeah, just just way too quick. Wasn't really sequenced well at the impact zone. So try it again all right i want to feel that right hip kind of get into it a little quicker here relax with the hands and then really press into my left side so i get that kind of move where i'm kind of putting force into my left side no that wasn't it either that was a pretty poor hit um Yeah, so qu swung quite a bit slower there. That wasn't the right thought. All right, a couple more. We're going to try to get 117 here with the next couple swings. Uh, then we'll call it a day. Yeah. Same kind of deal. I just kind of flipped it over. But hit it well. It's just, I'm just hitting it. I'm just kind of flipping over my hands and impact there. 115, 165. Um, the club face is just super shut. All right, let's make an adjustment here. Really try to feel like we're we're hitting right here with the ball rather than flipping over the arms and getting handsy and armsy. So let's get it. Same swing. One nineteen though, guys. That's great. I don't know if that's a mystery because it jumped up four miles an hour. But it did feel like a longer backswing. Uh, that's cool. So we'll take that. I'm going to try to hit one square and more straighter uh, so it's not 95 yards left. All right, so same idea here. Longer backswing. I really felt like that gathered up. Almost felt like my upper back stretched a little bit more. Um, but let's just try to keep that face a little more straight. That might be it. No. Nope. And it feels just a little shut, just, just that much. Yeah, 170 ball speed though, guys. That's also a PR. That's good. 
I don't know, we've kind of reached a new height here, so I don't want to quite end the video yet. Uh, it's going to be maybe a little longer one, but maybe I'll, I'll cut out some stuff. So let's get, uh, let's get 120 while we're at it, maybe 171, 172. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 171 though on the ball speed, 116. Uh, so I'm going to end the video on that one. I'll probably keep swinging and see if I can crack 120 and actually hit the ball straight. Uh, but, you know, I, I thought this was productive. Obviously, there's a lot of different debate about whether you should be swinging like this. Uh, but for me, it's kind of breaking, like, the governor. Like, you have a governor on a car that you set. It's breaking that governor, and I can tell myself when I'm actually on the course, okay, I can swing it 115 comfortably and not feel like I'm going to hit it OB. Uh, so, but, you know, first half of the video, we kind of kept it within, you know, 40 yards, we'll say, of offline, which, you know, Depends on the course, but that we can probably live with that. Um, but yeah, so like we'll we'll take it. I th I thought it was productive. Uh, we got some P PRs out of the ball speeds and the swing speeds. Not quite in the distance. Didn't crack the three ten mark yet. Um, but yeah, so we're getting there, guys. I like it. But appreciate you guys tuning in today. I'm gonna keep swinging here. Maybe I'll post some some uh, highlights if I can get if I can get my one twenty that I want today. Um, but if not, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to post some golf fitness related stuff in the next couple of days. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully you guys like that. But thanks for tuning in today. You guys have a good one. Peace.